This is Home Value Stories. I'm Jamie Owen. Do you have a small piece of land that you'd like to sell to your neighbor? It's not large enough to legally build anything on, but your neighbor would like it and you'd like to sell it to them. Let's just say for sake of argument that it's a quarter acre, 15 feet wide by, let's just say, 726 feet deep. Let's say that zoning requires a minimum of one acre of land with a minimum of 50 feet of road frontage to be a buildable lot. Now, what if one acre lots with at least 50 feet of frontage were selling for $100,000? Many would probably say that the quarter acre of land is worth 25% of what an acre is selling for, and they'd probably be wrong. Why? If the land is not large enough to construct a home upon or some other valuable improvement, then its value per square foot or per acre, whatever metric you prefer, is normally not going to be the same as the price per acre or per square foot of a lot that can be built upon. The price per acre or the price per square foot is going to be considerably less in most cases than that of land that can be built upon. So in this case, we need to find land sales that are not large enough to be built upon. Land sales that are buildable are not going to be comparable to this property that we're talking about. Their highest and best use is different. Think of this. What buyer is going to be interested in a small amount of land that they can't build anything on, much less do anything with? Probably the only one that's interested in buying a piece of that property is your neighbor, the one that's adjacent to your property, because it may make their property, uh, their land a little larger and possibly a little more valuable. Because really, what else could anyone do with a small piece of land that is not buildable? Well, family, here we are for our semi-annual visit to our little strip of land. And I'm so glad it's 15 feet wide so we can actually park our car on it. What a blessing. I'm so thankful for this little strip of land that we purchased. Sure. We can't do anything on this land, but have a picnic. But where else could we go and have a picnic together the great outdoors? I think that you get the point. In most cases, most buyers are not going to want to buy a piece of land that they can't do anything with, other than have a picnic on it. In a case like this, an appraiser is going to do research to determine how much the land may contribute to the adjacent property. It's the contributory value that we're looking at. And there are a number of methods that we can use to figure that out. As I mentioned, we're going to have to also find comparable land sales that are in a similar situation that are not large enough to be built upon. And it can be very time consuming. The point that I'm trying to make is that valuing land is not as simple as it may appear to be. There's a lot to think about. And with lots that are not buildable, the value is probably going to be a lot less than you think it is. That's my quick cast for this week. I hope it makes sense to you. If it doesn't, call an appraiser in your area and ask them about how we value little pieces of property that are not buildable. Join me again in a couple of weeks for my longer episode. And until then, may all your stories be happy ones. Mm -hmm.